wants to be a millionaire. So I'm going to go with Scarlett. It was the right answer all this time. And you just won $64,000. It's been a great experience, but I think I'm done. The winner, John Adusi. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to phone a friend. She got it right for $32,000. Well, he's my favorite boxer, and I have his grill. George Foreman, A. You're right for $64,000. like to use my 50-50. need to go with C. Edgar. Edgar Allan Poe! Well, anything I said right at this point would be a total guess. And $125,000 is a lot of money. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk away. I'll go with D, Italy. Italy, the right answer for 2000 to be a millionaire. Thank you very much. Good evening and welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? You know, we've noticed that people often struggle with geography questions on this show. Rosie was the worst. Last time, contestants were stumped over where the Sargasso Sea and the Aswan Dams are. But now we've got a Navy commander in the hot seat right here, someone who has traveled all around the world, and let's see how he does if he gets a geography question. Commander Mike Keating, or Keats, as he is known to his friends, is up to $2,000 right now, and let's talk about the places your Naval Service has taken you to. Well, I've gone all over the Western Pacific, I've flown in Somalia, the Persian Gulf, and even over the Atlantic. Aha, uh -huh. so you should be pretty well acquainted with this world of ours, huh? How long have you been in the Navy, Mike? About 17 years. And you are a uh, mission commander? Yes, mission commander on a P-3 Orion aircraft. Which means exactly what? The mission commander is, uh, sits as tactical coordinator, and we basically conduct the mission. They could range for anywhere from ASW missions to surveillance or reconnaissance. All right, fine. So uh, an enemy submarine, or an unidentified submarine is out there. They want to check it out. Intelligence comes to you, lays it all out for you, and you decide what the tactics will be. We receive a brief from intelligence and tactical support centers overseas, and then we go out and conduct a mission. Mm -hmm. And we coordinate the air crew and uh, making sure they do all the right things. And, and you fly along with the with the group? Yes. What do you do on the plane? Navigator? I sit. We start off as navigators, mm -hmm. but we act as tactical coordinators. Good. And we actually coordinate all the stations. All right, great. Sounds like a wonderful job. Married uh, how many years to uh, Stacy? How many, Stacy? Fifteen. How many children? Four? Four, yeah. Yeah. I guess you've had your lonely nights uh, being married to a Navy man. A lot, yeah. Sure. All right, four children. Now just moved to Orlando, Florida, close to Disney World. <laughs> They're going to have the time of their lives. All right, Mike, you're doing just terrific here. You've won $2,000. You're nine questions away from winning $1 million. Here's how we play. The more questions you get right, the more money you win. Once you reach the $32,000 level, you're guaranteed to leave here with at least that much money. And you have two of your lifelines left to help, 50-50, and you can phone a friend. Play along with Mike, log on to abc.com, click on the Enhanced TV logo, and play against everybody at home using ABC's Enhanced TV. I think you'll find it a lot of fun. All set to go, Mike? Ready. Let's do it. Ready? Ready, everybody? Let's do it. Here we go. Ready, let's play who wants to be a millionaire. $4,000, here it is. What letters appear on the heart-shaped tags of Beanie Babies that ensure their authenticity. BB, TY, LUV, ILY. With four kids who have hundreds of Beanie Babies, I think I can reasonably guess that it's TY. TY. Want to yes. make that your final answer? Yes. TY. Here it comes now for $8,000. What is the technical name given to clouds that are large, white, and puffy? Cumulus, Cirrus, Nimbus, Stratus. We do a lot of weather training prior to uh, being qualified as a naval flight officer, so I can't miss this one. It's A, Cumulus. Cumulus, large, white, and puffy. Final answer. Yes. Cumulus, the right answer. $8,000 
making headway now, seven away from a million. Here it is for 16,000. What product did Congress ban from advertising on radio and television as of January 1971? Hard liquor, handguns, cigarettes, the pill. Not sure about this one. I'd like to do the 50-50. Want an arrow down? Might always. Computer, take away two of the wrong answers for Mike, leaving one wrong answer and the correct one. Yes, hard liquor. Cigarettes, 1971. I'll go with A, hard liquor. Final answer? Final answer. Son of a gun, it was cigarettes. Cigarettes. Sorry, Mike. Can't tell you how sorry I am. We leave with a thousand bucks. Good luck in Orlando. Yes, that was a tough choice between those two, but in fact, there almost always has been a code of good practice that has prevented hard liquor from being advertised on radio or TV. But I hated to see that contestant go down. Right now, we have 10 new contestants.